Maelstrom News fans, it has now been confirmed that the U.S. is indeed mobilizing troops right now for a possible war in Syria. Right now, uh, the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Leon Panetta, has admitted that U.S. troops are on their way right now to the Syrian-Jordan border in order to be prepared if anything were to escalate. It, not an exact quote, but it's pretty close. Now, the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Leon Panetta, did also say that these troops were being mobilized for more than one reason. We've been working with Jordan for a period of time now on a number of issues that have developed as a result of what's happening in Syria. We have also been working with them in an effort to monitor CBW sites to determine how best to respond to any concerns in that area. And we've also been working with them to help them develop their own military and operational capabilities in the event of any contingency there. And that's the reason we have a group of our forces there. They're working to help them build a headquarters there and to assure them that, that we make the relationship with the United States and Jordan a strong one so that we can deal with all the possible consequences of what's happening in Syria. Now, this stated concern about chemical weapons does come on the heels of a NATO summit last Wednesday in which the U.S. expressed that it was working with Jordan in order to possibly deal with any chemical weapon threats that might be coming from Syria. Now, uh, earlier uh, that, in that day, Jordan said that the U.S. military was not helping Jordan with the influx of Syrian refugees that have come across the border as a result of the terrorist, the NATO-backed terrorist attacks that have been occurring in Syria. Now, the U.S. said that it was also in Jordan earlier in May, which I also reported was happening, but was subsequently denied by a lot of people that it was not really happening, is now actually being admitted by the United States. Operation Eager Lion saw around 12,000 troop exercise, which is ex about what I actually reported. Now, at that time, 100 military planners and other personnel uh, decided to stay on in Jordan after attending the, the uh, annual uh, exercise in May, and several dozen more have also joined since then. Now, Syria did actually warn that it would, in fact, use chemical weapons against any foreign troops actually invading the country, should Turkey or Jordan or the United States or any other country decide to actually physically invade the nation of Syria. Assad said that these chemical weapons would be used against any invading forces. They have no intention of using it on their own citizens or even the foreign terrorists that are being brought in by foreign powers. However, if a foreign military does indeed invade the country, those chemical weapons would indeed be used on them. Now, in August, U.S. President Barack Obama said the use of any such chemical weapons would turn Washington's opinion towards war. Now, the statement seemed to indicate that if chemical weapons were used at any time, the United States would consider its position of not actively engaging in war with Syria. However, they have been behind the scenes, not only with the uh, recent release of information that, in fact, Barack Obama had signed off on aid to the so-called rebels in Syria. And the U.S. is actually already involved. In fact, many U.S. weapons are already being used there right at this moment. Now, the Syrian conflict turned un made an unexpected turn last week when Turkey claimed that Syria had actually bombed parts of Turkey, when, in fact, it actually was done by the so-called rebel forces with mortar fire. And there are videos available on YouTube showing that uh, the people who videotaped the incident we're already aware that this incident was going to happen before it actually took place and was actually standing there with the camera waiting to record the actual incident. Now, <clears throat> this is exactly what I and a lot of people said was going to happen. I'm not psychic or in any way. A lot of people knew that this was coming. These rebel forces backed by the U.S. and other NATO powers were not going to be able to defeat the military of Syria. And that, as a result, was going to require an escalation of measures in the country by foreign powers in order to topple the government. Now, what I believe is actually going to happen is that the U.S. is going to send its own ground forces in eventually, secretly, into the country. Then the chemical weapons are going to be used on them, just as the Syrian government said they would. And then the U.S. would use this incident as a justification for going ahead and launching an actual physical invasion of Syria with full-scale U.S. military power. Uh, this is a similar uh, incidences like this have happened in the past, and I believe this is the path that it's actually going to take. Uh, maybe 
uh, regarding uh, what Turkey may do. If Turkey does dis- finally decide to actually send military forces into Syria, chemical weapons will more than likely actually be used on them for invading the country. And then the United States, in turn, would use this as a justification to begin bombing and murdering the civilians, the, the people of Syria, in order to forward the, the agenda of U.S. imperialism and the interests of Israel in the region as well.